Hello, today I'm going to talk about recovering your HTC Incredible phone with this version number right here. It took me about a day and a half to recover mine because it took a long while to search how to, on how to do it and also on how to connect it properly to my computer to recover it. Here's my situation. Uh, I couldn't access my software, the Android, within the phone because something got corrupted on it. I also couldn't access the recovery manager, so if you're in that position, this guide will help you recover your phone. I even provide all the files necessary for it. Let's get started. I realized one thing, you need Windows 7 for this to work. I tried Windows 8, I spent many many hours with it. Something with the drivers just doesn't work on Windows 8 or 8.1. So get yourself Windows 7. You can get a virtual machine for it uh, if you can't get a normal build on your computer. Second of all, go ahead and download the Android SDK package. As of today's date, it is called like this. This is the setup file. It's big, it's like one gig. Go ahead and install that on that Windows 8 machine. You'll need it. Okay, here's the thing. Here's a quick primer of how things work. Okay, your phone has what's called a BIOS, kind of like a BIOS on the computer. This is called an H boot on this on this cell phone. Within this BIOS, you can access the recovery mode. But if you access the recovery mode and it doesn't work, well, that means something went wrong with the recovery ROM and you need to install a new one. Something like Clockwork or Twerp, the one we're going to install today. When you can access this recovery mode, you can then easily install a ROM or a software on the phone. But until you actually access this mode, you can't do it. Okay, let's get started. Go ahead and access this HBoot mode by unplugging your cell phone alright just totally unplug it no cables now take the back side of the cell phone out and take the battery out now stick the battery back in and hold the volume button and press the power button once and continue holding the volume button you'll get into this like white screen that'll say H boot on top and give you options if yours says S off you'll see this on the right hand side in the text S on or S off if it has S on, you're going to have to do the next step. If your if yours says S off, you can pretty much skip this next step where, where I say you have to reflash the H boot. Okay? But if you have S on, you have to do this step that I'll tell you about right now in words. Go ahead and open the files that I attached over here. You'll probably see them in the comments. Okay? Now, you see this good boot, H boot image, S off? Okay? Go ahead and grab a small micro SD card, probably the one that's in your phone, or another one, and go ahead and place this file right here into the root folder of that card. Okay, not into any folder within the card, but just into that card as the root folder. Just the way it is, don't rename it or anything. If one already exists, you can back the old one up and then just copy this one over. Okay, once you do that, place the SD card back into the phone turn the phone off take the battery out put the battery back in and again go into H boot mode by holding the volume down key and pressing the power when you do that your phone is going to ask hey an update has been found do you want to reflash it, it should ask that question once it does say yes you want to reflash Okay and it's going to start reflashing. Once it reflashes, you will see, once you go back into HBoot, you turn off the phone, take the battery out, go back into HBoot, you will notice that the S thing is going to be off, security off. This will allow you to go ahead and do the next steps. I didn't mention one more thing. If the way to interact with an HBoot is to use the volume keys up and down and also use the power key as the selector the power on and off is the selector okay okay that's it let's move on to the next step go ahead and install the minimal ADB and the fast boot installation I include these files here as well it's this thing go ahead and install this you'll notice that when it runs it looks something like this okay this is what we want okay Go ahead, take that battery out again. We're on this step right here. Take the battery out in, put the battery back in, hold the volume button, press the power, go back into H boot. 
and plug in the USB cable to the phone and then plug it into your PC USB. You'll see that Windows 7 is probably going to be looking for the Android 1.0 driver. Specify, specify it so that it searches the online database for drivers. When it asks you should it look at Windows Update, say yes. It should find the driver. It's going to be called HTC or something like that and it will install it properly. If not for some reason, the, the drivers you can use for this are right here. Just unzip them and go into device manager and say update drivers and go ahead use the files from this zip folder okay but it should automatically find it though once it finds it that it's installed properly go ahead take out the cable again turn the phone off again take the battery out put the battery in uh, run hboot again through the volume down and the power button connect the phone cable back into the USB to the computer it's going now go ahead and it gives you an option of fast boot go ahead and press the power button on this fast boot option to enter the fast boot option what it's going to say is fast boot USB in a red line on top of your phone most likely if you see this this is this is good because then you're connected it recognizes it alright you've done a lot of steps now Finally, copy the file. You see this? Recov.zip. This file right here. Go ahead and copy this entire file into the C program files 86 minimal ADB and fastboot uh, folder where you install this program to, okay? Now open the terminal, this command window. This thing. Okay? It should it should say this right here at this point go ahead and type as your phone is already connected right go ahead and type this thing in fast boot OEM reboot RUU once you do that you'll get a HTC screen with a uh, little silver letters and now once you did that run this command right here fast boot flash zip recov dot zip this is that file that we placed in there this thing is the actual recovery manager. This thing was the thing that wasn't working on my phone. Now I'm installing it again. And that's it, it should install really quickly. And once it has, you have the twerp recovery mode. Once it's finished, go ahead, unplug everything. Again, take out the battery, put the battery in, hold the volume button down, press the power, and restart it back into HBoot as we already know and now click on the recovery button whereas before it did nothing for me now when I click on it it loads properly into the recovery manager into twerp and you'll see it looks something like this sorry it's called TWRP not twerp anyways at this point what you can do is uh, at this point you're, you're probably not going to restore your old ROM, you, you want to install a new operating system, okay? So, unfortunately, if you had images or something, hopefully you saved them on your SD drive, SD card. If you didn't, uh, you probably lost them. If you had Google, everything could be synced back to your phone. So, I highly recommend getting a Dropbox, Drop Sync, which will sync between your images and whatever folders you want between your computer and your phone, so you, you never have to lose information. Once you're in here, if you're ready to totally clean the phone and wipe everything, go ahead and click wipe. Wipe and pretty much let it wipe, you know, everything except for, just go with the default wiping. Don't, don't go with the advanced, but let it wipe everything. And now you can install a ROM, which is pretty easy. For ROMs, there's lots of ROMs out there. Here's an example of HTC Incredible ROMs. The one that I have is Touch of Blue because it's been updated recently. So, well, relatively recently. But select the one you want. You probably want the recent install. You can also read reviews on them and such. Here's the Touch of Blue. That's where you can find it. Just Google it. Okay? It's pretty good. Just make sure you do these instructions right here when you install it. Okay? 
go ahead and download that file, the ROM file, whatever one that you get. It's going to be a zip file. Okay, they're all zipped. Download the zip file. Take that zip file. Take your SD card, the one that you have in your phone. Put that zip file on the SD card, micro SD card, and put that card back into your phone and go back into this twerp manager. Okay. Now click install and in the, in the install find the SD card, the SD card folder. You'll, you'll find it in there. Once you find the folder, select the zip file and click install. If it asks you to wipe something, go ahead and wipe it. Also in the end, once you install everything, go ahead and wipe this Dalvik, Dalvik or whatever it's called. It's going to give that option to you. That's it. At this point, you can go ahead and once it says complete, unplug, reboot. And once you reboot, you'll notice it boots into your regular operating system and you can start from scratch. That's it. You did it. Thanks.